Coming to you live from PRS View Studios, this is your Plastic Surgery Minute. Hi, I'm Rod Roark from PRS View, and we're honored today to have a world expert here in migraine surgery, a phenomenal board-certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Bardi Amerlach. So Bardi, tell us about um, what's new and what's big in the development and the impact of uh, this thing that you developed called ART uh, versus the standard treatment that neurology has advocated. Yes, Dr. Rick, I think uh, true scientific magic happens when two specialties from two different spectrums of practice come together. In this yeah. instance, we're fortunate enough to be able to connect and collaborate with neurologists which have been injecting Botox for chronic migraines for years and the knowledge that we gained from migraine surgery, the anatomy of the nerves, the location of the muscles, and their knowledge of how migraines impact uh, our lives and how Botox works. So I merged these two and uh, developed this technique called anatomical regional targeted Botox injection or ART. And I think that the impact of this is going to be tremendous. We have a average indirect cost on the economy of about 19 to 20 billion dollars a year. Billion dollars? Billion dollars billion a year. Dollars. Significant uh, impact on patient lives. So this technique, hopefully, if adopted by more neurologists, um, and currently it's uh, considered one of the gold standards of Botox injection for chronic migraines by plastic surgeons, uh, would impact the, not only the individual lives of patients, but have a significant, tremendous impact on the economy. Uh, the money lost when uh, people don't go to work with chronic migraines, uh, money lost when uh, people uh, spend uh, money on, on medications, uh, average uh, patients' monthly uh, medication cost uh, of migraines is about 140 to $200. So how is this different than traditional therapy? So um, traditional therapy uh, uh, with Botox for chronic migraines does not target any specific uh, nerve or muscle rather than a shotgun approach. However, the knowledge that we have gained from neurologists right. that Botox likely works better when it's closer uh, to the nerves um, uh, gave us the opportunity to merge that with the knowledge that we have from the anatomy uh, the location of nerves to inject this Botox in more targeted fashion. So will this uh, obviate the need for migraine surgery? Well, uh, I think they go hand in hand, uh, but again, this would have a significantly more impact because neurologists, pain management doctors can adapt this. Uh, and uh, our studies, which is going to be published uh, soon, shows approximately double uh, the results, uh, the improved results with, with injection less complication rates, and uh, elimination of migraines with in Botox injection. Patients, can you eliminate well, we, ha we have about 40 to 50 percent elimination rate of the migraines, which previously was, was not uh, done with the standard injection. And we have approximately double uh, the, the, the results with the previous injection. With your new techniques correct. and therapy. That is correct. That's great. So I'm hopeful that more neurologists would, uh, would pick this up and have a significant, tremendous impact worldwide, not only on the life of patients, but also uh, on the economy. Great. Wise words from Dr. Amerlach, a world expert in migraine surgery and now the new non-surgical management with ART. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.